Hey everyone, so we just came off of our weekend run. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I posted what was going to be my 19 mile run, but after some issues with plantar fasciitis and things over the last couple weeks, uh, cut it back down to 14 miles, going to go for 18 miles next weekend and just slowly bring those um, long runs back up in big steps um, so we can get to our 20 mile runs, which will be our peak distance before uh, we start to taper uh, in our training for the New York City Marathon. So that's exciting. Um, I was happy to get back out after a couple weeks with that injury. So things are turning around, we're doing well, and now that we are beyond that weekend, we know that my foot is really you know, back to normal for the most part. We're gonna get back out there today on the track and do some uh, another version of a tempo run. It's a pretty simple workout and I'll just break it down right now. It's 10 minutes of a warm up, and then every five minutes I'm increasing the pace a little bit until I get to um, somewhere in between my 5K and 10K pace. So for me, I'm gonna kind of max out in this particular workout around 7.30, uh, 7.45 per mile. Um, so I'll put that in, you know, kilometers as well up here. Um, and, you know, it's not based on distance. The, the distance will vary when I do this workout from time to time. It's all about time. So it's just progressing my body through different five minute intervals at faster and faster paces. And then the last 10 minutes are again, a cool down, just like I had 10 minutes of a, a warm up in the beginning. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, it should be nice weather for it. It looks like it's around 77 degrees and cloudy. Um, so we'll get outside and go do that. And then I will kind of break down what our results are and how everything went once it's over. Something that I'm gonna talk about a little bit more after we get to our run is that I have a pair here of the Nike Zumex Invincible Run. Um, these are the Flyknit, so Nike Zumex Invincible Run Flyknit. Um, I've had these for a little while now, but I never put more than, I think, like 18 miles on them. So aside from those shoes, we'll get out there, go to the track now. Um, and like I said, just stick around, check in at the end of the video, and I'll just um, clarify again how you can make sure that you're entered to get a pair of shoes here if you need them. Um, but, you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That'll be step one. Uh, hopefully that's exciting to somebody who needs these shoes. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll give them away soon. It's Megan's birthday. All right, so that worked out really well. Um, 
got through the full um, workout portion. Uh, got the cool down as well, work, uh, warmed up. Obviously that part was easy. Um, so yeah, it went well. Uh, still a little bit humid, but it cooled off. It was a nice breeze, so I was able to get through it. Um, I'll have to go back and double check uh, all my pacing and everything. Um, I think it was somewhere along the lines of like 9.15, 9 minutes, 8.45, 8.30 then like 8, 10, 7, 55, and then I dropped down to like 7.30 at one point. So it worked out really well. Um, and yeah, it went just as planned. So we'll go home now and see how everything looks in Strava and Garmin and all that good stuff. All right, so let's keep this short and sweet. Um, everything I said, you know, at the track was right. Um, you know, my pacing and everything was was pretty much spot on to what I said. Um, I'll put in the overall mileage pacing here. Um, and also, you know, I did do another five minutes of a cool down that was just really slow. Um, and I did a little form drills and things like that. So I had stopped my watch by then, but you know, this was the overall mileage pace, but again, remember my workout here was really by time. It was every, you know, five minutes or so for the most part, um, from 10 minutes on at a very specific pace where I was being mindful and trying to increase my pace just a little bit each five minutes. Um, towards the end, it was more like every two or three minutes. I just went a little bit faster till it felt like, you know, the right kind of, um, pace for maybe somewhere in between a 5k and a 10k race pace. Um, so yeah, so that was that workout and everything, um, went as planned. Um, the track was open. Obviously there was no more practice. It did look like a cross country team was leaving, but I guess I was actually late enough that, um, practice had already ended and the track was, you know, open to the public again for, you know, at the high school. Um, so let's just circle back really quick to, um, giving away that pair of shoes. Um, so the specifics are going to be this, um, the video is posting today. It's September 15th, 2001. Um, what we're going to do is on this video, you'll have to be subscribed and you'll also want to make a comment down below that says zoom X with your shoe size and your shoe size has to be, um, 11, 11 and a half, 12 or 12 and a half. Those will be the shoe sizes that are, you know, I accept for this. Obviously, you can tell me whatever shoe size um, you want. It doesn't have to be a real shoe size if you know somebody else who is that shoe size, but put Zoom X in the comments with your shoe size. Again, 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half will count. It is a pair of size 12 and a half shoes, um, but I think any of those could work if you're somebody who, you know, could really use a pair of, you know, lightly used shoes. Um, I've actually put them through the washing machine too, so they're still fine, they still work, um, but they're cleaned off. You know, anything as far as like sweat in the fabric should be um, pretty clean, um, so I did that for you. Um, and what we'll do is I'm going to post a video on September 22nd. Uh, that's a week from now on a Wednesday. And in that video, I will announce the person who won, who, you know, put the comment in the comments down on this video, um, is subscribed at the time of the drawing. Um, and then when I announce the winner, I'll put my email down below. I'll put it now and I'll also put it in that video. You can reach out to me if you're the one selected and, um, you know, you just let me know that you won and we'll, we'll organize how to send those off. So that's what we'll do. I'll just show you a little bit here again, what the shoes look like. Again, it's a 12 and a half, uh, Nike zoom X invincible, uh, fly knit. That's the process for this little drawing. Again, this is just a pair of shoes that for me isn't exactly the right size. Um, I unfortunately didn't purchase it through my Nike account cause I did it through like an Instagram ad and I just, you know, forgot to log in. Uh, and I don't know the return process on that. And, you know, again, I just want to help somebody out who maybe needs a pair of shoes. Again, I'm really hopeful that this goes to somebody who, you know, just maybe can't afford a new pair right now. Um, obviously shoes can be pretty expensive. So we're going to do that here. Uh, and hopefully again, it, you know, it helps somebody, uh, stay out on the road and keep running, um, you know, comfortably and healthy, everything like that. So, um, with that, you know, that's really everything for today. That's the end of the workout. Um, it is Megan's birthday today. Our car announces like the happy birthday. Um, but if you want, just, uh, leave a comment for Megan saying happy birthday as well. Uh, and we'll probably just be, you know, staying in tonight because it's a weekday, but, um, otherwise, you know, we'll see you in the next video.